Hey, hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, my name is Sin and this is Books and Finances. I do these videos all about budgeting using the cash envelope method. Today's video is actually going to be a short one. It is my savings challenges reallocation. So pretty much I completed a few savings challenges and I'm going to put that money into other envelopes um, that you know I have goals to reach. So this is my variable spending little binder here um but here is where i keep all of my savings challenges and i'm just gonna pull out the ones that i completed so tacos are my valentine by budget with carly was saved 75 dollars so i have 20 40 50 60 75 and i guess i can put this to the side the other one that I completed is this February monthly challenge, which is a printable. I will leave the, the description down below because I don't remember the name of the shop, but it was save $100, so there goes that. And then finally, this March savings challenge. Um, this one is by Budget Crafts by Kendra, and um, you can put how much you want each hat to be worth, and I put $3. So I was able to save 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So $37. Okay. So let me actually put this over here. And I'm going to count this money. Just kind of organize it a little bit. Oh, I don't, I don't need to. <laughs> okay, so let's count. I have 100, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 200, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 210, 11, 12. So I have $212 here. And um, that's awesome that I was able to complete these three challenges and save $210. So what I'm going to do now is... Um, I'm going to go through and see where I need to put this money. So right off the bat, I know that I have to give my mom $40. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, I suggest you do. I do post a lot of stories on there. Um, but I went to the casino to get a free coach um, handbag. And I took $20 with me, but I lost them. And then my mom was with me, so she lent me $40. Um, so I'm going to give this back to her because, you know, she let me borrow 40 bucks. So that's going to go to her. And then, um, what else? Um, I guess we can start allocating this into my emergency K. That for sure is going to get something. Um, I'm going to have a sip of coffee because I feel like I need something warm <laughs> I was gonna say something but then it's gonna sound really nasty so I'm not gonna say it all right so for emergency fund I am going to put $60 in this one because I currently have 440, so I want to just, you know, put it up. So I'm gonna color this 20 here. Oh wait, and this other 20. So that's 40, but I said 60, right? <laughs> so another 20. Okay, so $60. I'm gonna use this 100, and I should get back um, $40, 20, 40. Okay. So in emergency fund, I do have a mixture of prop and regular money. I'm actually going to do a prop swap money now. Um, since this video is going to be short, I might as well just do it now. Okay, so let's just count what I have here first. So in prop money, I have 100, 200, 250, 270, 290, 295. So I have my calculator here. 295 plus... 
115 equals you guys I always count this wrong okay one two two fifty two seventy two eighty two eighty five so I have two eighty five there 120, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 200, 5, 10, 15, plus 215 in real cash. So I have $500. So what I'm going to do actually is remove this and I'm going to put a $500 placeholder, which I think I have. This is like my everything. Here it is. So $500 and I am so happy you guys because that is halfway um, to reaching my goal of 1k emergency fund and I'm just so so excited about that. Um, I cannot wait to reach that. Okay so then the next one is my 52 week challenge. This will actually be getting $75. It's going to be one of the big ones. Because I don't think in the future I'm going to be stuffing, the, be able to stuff the big ones as much. So I'd rather, I'd rather just do that now. So 75. So I have 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, and 5. And this is another one with prop money and real money. Okay, so let's count the prop money first. 100, 200, 300, 320, 340, 360, 380, 390. So 390 in prop money. And then I have 100, 200, 220, 240, 260, 270, 80, 90, 300, 10, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 56. 57, 58, 59, 60. So 360, right? $750. What? Oh my God, $750. Yes, I have $750 that I was able to save in this challenge. So I don't know if I have another 500. I do. Okay, so we're going to do another prop swap here. So 500, 6, 700, 20, 40, and 50. Okay, so this regular cash is going to go over here. I'm going to count that later. I hope I don't confuse myself or you guys. So 500, 6, 7, 20, 40, 50. 750 in this 52 week challenge. And once I complete it, I should save $2,500. Okay, and then the next one that's going to get some love is actually the graduation one for my daughter. And this is going to get $9. So one little hat. So that's five. Six, seven, eight, nine. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, do an extra dollar. Okay. So now in graduation, so far I have saved 20, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 66, 67, 68, 90, 70, 71, 72. 72 dollars. It's great. Okay, and that is it for my, um, I do have this remaining money, which is actually going to go towards my spending. 5, 10, 15, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So $28. I'm going to put this in my personal envelope because I did buy something from Etsy. I bought some new set of envelopes and bookmarks, like uh, A6 binder bookmarks. And that was a total of $56, I want to say. So <laughs> I don't have $56, but let's see. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 
10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 41. I have $41. Okay, so I will worry about that it, during my cash unstuffing and figure out where I'm going to get the rest of it. But for now, this is it for my savings challenge um, reallocation. And now I can put my merch challenges over here. So for March, I'm going to be doing this hang on, let me grow mat this, which is gonna go here. But I don't think I can I close it? No, I can't. So I'm just gonna leave this here. And then my March one will go here. And then I do have the Loteria one, which this one I can put. Um, I will put it behind the 50, the graduation one because um, this is more of like a challenge that's going to be happening a lot more. Like it's not, it's not just for March. So, yeah. And I did order um, a few more Etsy savings challenges that are printables. I just haven't gone to the office to be able to print them. But once I do go into the office, I will be printing those. I think I got mostly like holiday savings challenges, Easter, Mother's Day, Father's Day. Um, and, and then I got another like Hello Kitty savings challenge and another monthly savings challenge. So I do have a monthly, this one here that's a printable. But the, when I get the other physical monthly savings challenge, I'm actually going to be using that one instead of the printable. Um... So yeah, that is it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching my video. Oh wait, hold on. Let's count what I have here. So this was in my 52 week challenge. Um, then I'm gonna forget, <laughs> like, where did this money go? I mean, all of this money is gonna go to my savings. So I actually don't need to, I was gonna write in a post-it what, um, like how much money I had for each thing, but this is all going into my savings. So what I'm planning to do is all of my savings challenges that I'm doing that are gonna go into my savings, I just put everything in there. So that way at the end of the year, um, hopefully I don't have to touch that savings, but at the end of the year, I can see how much I was able to save using savings challenges. Um, and that includes my 1K emergency fund. So this is all gonna go to the bank and into my high yield savings account, which I have with Capital One. And let's count how much I have. I gotta make sure these are all just fake, okay? <laughs> okay, so one, two, three hundred, 20, 40, 60, 81. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 10, 20, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So $575 is going to be added to my savings account and I'm so excited you guys, so, so excited. Um, okay. So there goes that. Um, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Sorry if I was a little all over the place. This was definitely kind of an unplanned video. I was going to do this off camera where I just allocated my funds, but I thought I'd share that with you because I kind of like to see other people's savings challenges and what they do with it, with that money once they complete a savings challenge. Um, I know everybody has different goals. Somebody, you know, somebody might have to pay off debt, like, you know, or, or other people just want to save or, or for, you know, personal spending, whatever it is. Like, I really enjoy watching those type of videos because it, it gives me insight and it gives me an idea of like, oh, okay, you know what? Like, I actually do have something coming up. I can use this money for that or, you know, whatever it is. Um, it's not like, yeah, uh, you know, like I do want to save money, obviously, but I also want to have a little fun. And I feel like, yeah, saving money is fun, 
but I also want to be able to buy something and not feel guilty because I spent that money, you know? So if I have the money to be able to buy something, like I bought those cash envelopes and you guys, it took me weeks for me to buy those envelopes. Like I kept going back and forth. And like, if you look at my Etsy account, I have tons of things in my cart and a lot of like comeback coupons that I just don't redeem because I'm like, I can't afford it. I just can't. But I bit the bullet and I bought those envelopes. Um, and those are all for my sticky funds. I just feel like I need a new envelopes. But um, but yeah, do I have the money? Did I have the money to make that purchase? No, I really do not. <laughs> I really do not. So when I do my cash and stuffing, I'm going to have to figure that out. Um, but it is what it is, right? Like this is your financial journey. This is your like you are in control of what you're doing with your money, right? Like nobody else can decide like, no, you cannot spend or, or yes, go spend all your money. You know what I mean? Like you have to do what's best for you and you have to figure out that balance um, and, you know, try to not get yourself into any any debt or any more debt. Um, so I currently do have debt. I do have a small credit card that I hope to pay um, by the end of March. And um, yeah, but... That is, that is just me just talking. <laughs> I appreciate you guys for being here. Thanks again for watching my video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.